Hey, the Three Kings family. Uh, Coach Matt here just to bring you guys a little bit of mobility for the day. It's gonna be a little bit different than what you guys are used to with Coach Mary. Um, she's doing more yoga, mobility, flows kind of thing. Um, today, I'm gonna take you guys through a little bit of smashing and stretching. Um, that's gonna be more pertinent to the workout you guys did today with that 30 minute EMOM, um, or really anytime you guys need to just smash out or roll out. Now, uh, I'm gonna be using, utilizing a couple things that I have around the house just because I know that we don't have all the equipment in the world. Um, but we're gonna start off today, you guys are gonna do a little pec stretch and smash out. Um, I'm gonna take you guys to my wall over here. You guys can do this on the floor if you really want to. Um, but I'm gonna use my bare wall over here. Okay, so come here you guys. We're gonna hang out here for one minute. Okay, I'm gonna put my hand across the wall, try to put my bicep head on the wall, shoulder against the wall as well. Okay, we're just gonna try to open up Okay, those hips, you guys can see I'm stepping through. I'm really trying to open up that pec. We're gonna be here for about a minute. We've already been 15 seconds here. So I'll do my best to not talk so you guys can relax into that stretch a little bit. You're gonna turn your brains off. Halfway there, you guys. Got 15 seconds on the side. Excellent. From there, you guys, we're going to switch over to the other side. Same thing. Arms gonna go flat against the wall. One side might feel a little tighter than the other side. That's okay. Don't be too pushy with it right off the bat. Just trying to settle in, focus on your breathing, really trying to control that breath. About halfway there already. About 25 seconds, you guys, on this side. Oh. I only did two rounds of it as a demo today. I'm feeling it. I'm gonna do more burpees in my life. I thought you never hear me say that ever. Got about five more seconds, you guys. Three, two, and one. Okay, and then like I said, you guys, uh, I'm gonna do a peck smash next. I have two options. I have a potato, that's right, a potato. And then I have a lacrosse ball. You guys can use a baseball, a softball, a dog ball, anything that's kind of round and hard. Okay, again, you can technically use a potato as well. I'm gonna go ahead and use this, but I just wanna give you guys an option. I did try this already beforehand. Just be careful you don't be too aggressive with it. Okay, but what we're gonna do, okay, is that I'm going to do a little pec smash now. I'm gonna place the ball kind of right where my shoulder, my pec kind of me. okay? And then I'm just gonna kind of roll around against the wall with it. And I like to, I usually find a, some good stuff right under that lower pec, kind of where that bicep head um, and shoulder kind of meet each other. So we're gonna go up against the wall, okay? I said, start off nice and light with it. We're only gonna be here for about 45 seconds or so, not being too aggressive with it. If you find any spots or knots, just go ahead and stay there and do tiny circles, try to get that pain to radiate away. Okay, you guys can put your arm behind your back. Now open up that pec a little bit more. Put it in a semi-stretched position. Okay, I said, we don't wanna do too much here. We got about 15 more seconds on the side. I said, you can search around, maybe check that under pec area and see if you have anything down in there. Oh, I always have something in my chest. A lot of weight lifting all the time. Two, one, and then we'll go ahead and switch the sides up. we we'll go on the other side. Again, smashing out that pec, really trying to work. Oh, I'm loosening it up. Too many times when people do this, they try to be almost too aggressive, you guys. You don't have to be so aggressive with it. Just some light massaging, just to promote blood flow and break up some of those knots and adhesions that you guys have. You got about 10 seconds, give or take. 
you guys want to hang out in any one of these, if you find something like, oof, that made it feel real good, then feel welcome to pause with you guys. Hang out there. But next up, we're gonna move on, okay? We're gonna do uh, a little bit of a hamstring stretch. I'm oh, sorry, hamstring smash out. Now, using again that, oh, that ball or that potato, okay? I'm gonna find a nice hard chair surface, okay? I'm gonna put that lacrosse ball I'm gonna start kind of high in the hamstring where my hamstring and my glute kind of uh, insert to one another. And from there, we're just gonna do 10 extensions. So find a spot, extend that leg out, right back down. That's one, move it a little bit. Two, ooh, that's found a good spot on myself. Three, right back out. Four, just like a half pause at each position. Five, maybe roll it down to the meat. Six, Whatever feels good, seven. The nice thing about mobility, much like Bob Ross paintings, there's no such thing as mistakes. Happy little mistakes that you can make. Make it a little bit more about yourself. I've been working that lacrosse ball down a little bit. I'm also on rep number nine. Apparently I need this more than I realize because I'm on number 11 next, but I'm moving on with it, okay? So, and then once we're done on one side, we'll find the other side. Again, if you guys find out, you're like, oh my God, this is amazing, I need more of this, pause the video, okay? Hang out here for a little bit, all right? I'm just gonna do a couple because I just wanna get you guys exposed to a lot of these things that we can do. Again, just search and destroy. That's what mobility of work is all about, you guys, especially smash work. Not everybody is created equal, not everybody is tight in the same exact spots with these things. Maybe switch up the angle of the hamstring, maybe do a little sideways. Go to the other side. Ooh, man, I need this. The nice thing about doing these videos is that it forces me to do mobility work that I would otherwise not be doing. Ugh, not sure what rep we're on, but doing enough until it feels good. Again, you guys search and destroy whatever feels good. Excellent. Now, from there, from those hamstrings, we're gonna drop it down to the floor. Um, I actually don't own a foam roller. I do. It's somewhere, just not here. Um, but what I'm gonna use instead, I'm, I grabbed a Yeti bottle, okay? Anything that's kind of hard and round, obviously, uh, I'm trying to use something that's gonna be, uh, that might break, okay? But we're gonna use this, and I'm gonna roll out my low back. So I'm just gonna pick the middle for right now. You guys can go left side, right side, okay? But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay back on that Yeti bottle. I'm just gonna roll right up and down those low back erectors, okay? We'll do like 10 rounds of up and down. Oh. Really trying to round that low back into the bottle, okay? And again, don't be too pushy. You don't need to be super aggressive. If you guys would like, you can isolate onto one side, maybe plop that elbow down, and really focus on the right side erectors. Maybe go a little bit higher up in that booty. Oof. Do a couple reps there. I can then turn, place on the other side, same thing. Elbow going down. Just do a few repetitions there. Get maybe high up where the low back and the butt cheek meet. Maybe you're more of a mid back, low back kind of guy or gal. Oh, I just find those spots and work on those. Again, just a couple seconds, 20, 30 seconds at most on both sides. Oh, from there you guys, okay? What we're gonna do is that going back to that lacrosse ball, okay? Or you can use that potato. Now be careful with this one because you put too much pressure down, you might pop the potato. But all I'm gonna do, okay, since we had a lot of those shuttle runs, all right, I'm just gonna open up the muscles under my feet. People actually don't think about doing this nearly as much as they should. Okay, you guys can see I'm just kind of rolling it around. Okay, we're gonna hang out here for about 30, 45 seconds. I'm gonna do the back, the heel area, okay? Now I kind of work my way to the midfoot, just to the left and right, nice and easy, okay? Again, not too much pressure, okay? If you guys start off with a lot of pressure, it might hurt more than it needs to. Maybe do the sides of the foot. People who do a lot of running, especially now since the gym is not open, a lot of you guys might be running extra, which is fine, that's awesome. Um, Keystone, we have a pond, a man-made pond out back. That's a one-mile loop. You guys, go there. Coach Sam's been going there almost every day, running three miles. Um, you won't see me there doing that, but <laughs> maybe throw a barbells out there. 
Go ahead and switch it up. Other side, same thing. Just a nice, easy rollout, okay? You guys can see it's pretty laissez-faire with it. Just doing whatever feels good, what feels right. For me, with a lot of weightlifting that I do, I actually do this a pretty fair amount. Um, I'm always extending, driving through the top with my toes, so my calves, my feet, um, slamming them back down over and over again, trying to be fast under a bar. Um, so my feet actually take a little more of a beating during weightlifting uh, than sometimes even with CrossFit, unless it's one of those days where you have like 800 double unders, in which case your feet are getting beat up pretty bad. All right, so from there, I still wanna stay um, more for my runners, okay? So now we're gonna smash out our calves. Now, you can either use the lacrosse ball, the potato. Um, you can also use that Yeti. I'll show on my right leg how I use the Yeti. First, it's pretty simple, you guys, okay? Flex my foot towards my face, extend my foot away from my face, okay? I have to start off with some of these easy flexion extensions, okay? Starting off pretty low by the Achilles, and then roll it up. Same thing, place the weight of my own foot on top of it. Extend, flex, extend, flex. Let's say let's go for like five reps on each distance. Good, and then say go up more to the higher insertion of that calf. Some places you feel it more than others. I know for me, the meat of my calf is where I really feel a lot of tension. If you guys aren't feeling much, you can elevate those hips a little bit. Put a little more body weight down on that calf. I don't know why it would, because this hurts. Ooh. Then let's just clear it out with a couple rolls up and down that calf. Just a couple rolls. Like I said, people tend to do too much and they end up beating themselves up too aggressively. Turn those feet out to the sides, the outside of the calves, insides of the calves. Okay, from there, if you're using the cross ball instead, same thing, same premise. Okay, start off nice and low, put some pressure down. You go across over the top. Ooh, now that cross ball is gonna be a little more pinpoint. Okay, so don't put as much pressure down on it. Still gonna do the same thing. I'm starting to sweat. Whew. I don't know about you guys, but sometimes when I mobilize, I sweat more mobilizing than I do working out. Let's be honest, I don't work out. What's wrong with me? <laughs> From there, let's roll that ball up to the meat. The middle, this is where we're probably gonna feel, gonna get people jumping out of their seats. Oh, that extension is something fierce. Two, three, four, I'm just gonna do five. You can do as many as you want. Then let's go up higher, okay? And extend, flex, extend, flex, extend, flex. I don't know how many extensions and flexions that is. Let's do one more for good measure. Beautiful and same thing with the lacrosse ball. I like to go left and right as I come up and down just because the lacrosse ball doesn't have as much surface area as that Yeti does. So I wanna make sure I get a little bit of both sides. And then you can just go straight up and down, straight up and down, straight up and down, all right? Last one, last thing we're gonna end with is gonna be a seated saddle position, okay? But we're also gonna add in a nice little shoulder tricep stretch. Now I have my dogs leash here, okay? It has a nice little loop for me that I can grab onto, put that behind my head, grab the other strap, pull it down, elbow up, sitting up nice and tall on my chest. So again, I'm here, sitting up nice and tall, trying to pull that strap down. You guys can see from the backside now. Again, here, elbow up, grab that strap, pull it down. All right, we're gonna hang out here for about, oh, let's go for another 15 seconds here and then we'll switch it up to the other side. Now again, you guys, if I went too fast in any of these movements, which I tend to do, I do talk fast, I live fast, smile fast, laugh fast, I do everything fast, except exercise now, but that's okay. At least I move a barbell fast. But you guys are welcome to pause at any time. Tucker's coming to say hi, what's up, Tuck? Come here, boy. Yeah, leave him alone. Let's try to get that lacrosse ball. I'm surprised he's not going for the potato. Right, buddy? Huh? Yeah, he always found that ball. With the, <laughs> that wiggle butt. Get your booty out of here. Go find mom. All right, guys, we're still here. We got another 20 seconds left. 
I'm gonna use Tucker in another video for some workouts. You guys ever held your dog while doing squats or thrusters? Tuck, get out of here. Go. What you doing? You doing puppy kisses? No? Okay. Go get mom. All right, you guys. So that's all we're gonna do today on the mobility. Okay, just wanted to uh, switch it up a little bit for you guys. Again, um, get creative. Uh, use whatever pieces of equipment you guys have. Whether that's a Yeti, a potato. Uh, I try to use an orange, but it's a little soft. Maybe an apple. Anything that's round, hard, okay, that you guys can move around with, go for it. Hope this helps you guys, and I hope to see you guys sooner rather than later. Join us tomorrow at 9 a.m. for our Zoom, our first live class. Uh, we're going to try to hold a live class Saturday. It'll be at Keystone, but you guys will uh, visit us virtually. You guys can also jump in. There's a kids class going on today, the 20th at 4 p.m. Hopefully this video will be up before that. Uh, but yeah, thanks for all of you guys' patience, and thanks you guys for continuing to be a member here at 3D Kings. We hope to see you guys sooner rather than later.